This video will provide two examples of using a Venn diagram to check an argument for validity. The first thing we do is try and identify the conclusion. The argument is no infomercials are trustworthy, so all infomercials are untrustworthy. The so is a conclusion indicator. That's a giveaway that this second sentence, all infomercials are untrustworthy, is the conclusion. That leaves no infomercials are trustworthy to be a premise. We could represent the premise with two categories. We need a category for infomercials and a category for trustworthy. We could abbreviate this way, no I or T. The conclusion, so all infomercials are untrustworthy, we'd write this way, all infomercials are not trustworthy. We don't need a new letter to represent untrustworthy since everything that's not trustworthy is untrustworthy. Now we draw our overlapping circles. One of the circles is I, label the other circle T. No I or T is a shading premise. It says nothing is in both I and T. So we have to shade in the overlap between I and T. Shading a region in says it's empty. Now, the method of checking for validity is to represent the premises and then look to see if the conclusion is contained. While we're learning how to do this, we'll represent the conclusion on a separate diagram. Don't represent the conclusion on this diagram because then if you look for it, you will find it there. We'll represent it on a separate diagram. I, T. All I are not T. It says everything that's inside the I circle is not also inside the T circle. So we have to push everything in the I circle out of the T circle. We do that by shading this region in. Now, this is what the conclusion looks like. This is what the premise looks like. If the premise is true, the conclusion must also be true. So this argument is valid, and we just demonstrated it with a Venn diagram. Here's another example. The argument this time is some advertisements are not deceptive since some deceptions are not advertisements. Start with the conclusion. Try and identify it. It looks like the since here is a premise indicator. So we're saying, the author of this argument is saying, that what I just said is true because of this. So this early sentence must be the conclusion. Some advertisements are not deceptive. We can use just two letters to symbolize that. We need a circle for advertisements and a circle for deceptive things. Some A are not D. That's the conclusion. The premise we said is some deceptions, that's D, are not A. Some deceptions not A. Now our method is represent the premises, in this case there's just one, on a two-circle Venn diagram. We only need two circles here because there are just two letters, D and A. D, A. Some D are not A says there is something, that's an X, we're drawing an X, there is something inside D but outside A. Inside D but outside A is right here, so we put an X there. That's the premise. Now, our method has us check to see if the conclusion is contained on the diagram. You don't have to do a separate conclusion diagram if you can visualize this conclusion on the diagram you already have. Some A are not D is an X inside A but outside not in D. Inside A, but outside D, is an X out here. Since that's not represented on our diagram, 
this region is empty, we don't know anything about it, this argument is not valid. In that. It doesn't hurt to draw a separate conclusion diagram if you need to. Here's what the conclusion would look like if we were going to put it on the diagram. We want the order of the circles to match, so we'd write D as our left circle, A as our right circle, if we're representing the conclusion. This says there is something inside A but outside D. That's an X right here. So we've confirmed that our argument is invalid because the conclusion diagram is not contained on the premise diagram.